guys, welcome back to Poison and Ivy. Brandon here. Shelly back here. And today we are going to put a hard drive in the Tesla because you need a hard drive for your century mode. Funny fact, Tesla does give you a USB stick in the car. We didn't get one. No, we did not. So we're gonna put one in there. We're not gonna take anything out because we didn't get one for some reason. You're supposed to get that. So make sure you get that on, uh, on your delivery. You're gonna want more room most likely. So we're gonna plug in this SanDisk SSD and leave it in the glove box. So come on over to the car and let's show you how to do it. It's pretty easy. Jordan ones, gotta keep them lace. Hey. This um, sand disc that we got at Costco, good deal. There's a guy called the deal guy. Watch him, he'll tell you when they're on sale. These are the top 10 things you should be buying at Costco. We need to get this hard drive installed into the USB port. So let's go ahead and do that. Get your Tesla menu. That's what we call it. I don't know the official name, do you, Shelly? It's the scoots button. Okay, scoots button. <laughs> I'm gonna go head into the menu over here that says controls, which it's already defaulting to. Gotta hit the button to open the glove box. Look, the hard drive's in there. So real quick, guys, it's easy. Plug the USB-C end into the hard drive. This one happens to have a USB-C to C cable and they included an adapter to the USB-A, which is what the Tesla will require. So snap that on. I'm gonna go in here plug this in it's kind of dark and hard to see but there we got it plugged in now I'm gonna go back to the screen Shelly we're gonna go down here to the safety scroll to your format USB drive to enable dash cam so we need to format this drive let's see if it works are you sure you want to format everything will be deleted from the drive now this is a brand new drive we're fine with that be careful if you're using one you already own you don't want to delete your uh, favorite pictures or favorite videos from your youtubers <laughs> Success! We have formatted the USB drive. Good job. The hard drive is now installed and formatted. We're going to go ahead and go into our safety menu now. Turn on sentry mode and turn on dash cam. Perfect. Information you want to know about those, there's little eyes next to those to explain everything on there because me explaining it's not fun. You wouldn't enjoy it. <laughs> All just right. turn them on for him. Shelly might do better at explaining it, but we're just not going to explain it. Go ahead and hit those eyes. First, sentry mode, guys. Let's turn that on. Did you see the red light went on? It did. We are now recording. Basically, you're recording the proximity of your vehicle for any live events, people walking by, things like that. Well, I want to exclude home because there's no need for us to record. This car's in the garage all the time. We don't need to record us walking by. We're safe. Check that box. Look. Red light went out, saved the setting. There you go, you've excluded your home. Obviously you can exclude your work and your favorite places. One little thing you do wanna keep a heads up on is the sentry mode will drain your battery every time it turns on, cause it turns on the whole Yeah, basically system. turning the car on. Anytime somebody so, walks by. So you will expect a little can't bit affect of a that, yes. battery drainage. And and live view on the mobile app's pretty cool. Obviously if you're checking that a lot, you're gonna be popping the camera. Well, there you go, it's gonna tell you. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and turn that on. What the heck? Oh, yeah. I wanna be able to see it from the app. Okay, next step, dash cam. Let's make sure to turn that on. It's off right now. I'm gonna put it on auto. Let's just let it decide when to record. It, you know, the car can sense an event and it will record. Again, hit the information button there if you wanna know exactly what each thing does and what to do. Tesla's pretty good about telling you what everything does. Okay, real quick, we're gonna show you how to access your dash cam footage while you're in the vehicle. Go ahead and hit the three, uh, three bar menu here. Like I said, I don't know any of the names of these menus. Dash cam. Gonna go down, there's your selection of your events. We're gonna click that one and look, there's your front camera, rear camera, left camera, right camera. Hey, there's a guy walking over there. Anyways, there you go. So that's how you access the footage from inside the vehicle. So there, we've activated our dash cam. That's an important part. We've got our sentry mode activated. All cameras are activated and gonna record to that drive now. Perfect. There you go, guys. It's easy. Huge Pretty, safety thing, yeah, I'd say safety, get one inexpensive this, these things have gotten way better in price Agreed. so pick one of those up till the next video thanks for watching we appreciate you appreciate you guys thanks bye